cover photo. First of all, I have to open an app. It's called Pixel Lab. Pixel Lab is great for 3D creation and for such a thing as this keychain. Okay? So the first thing I want to do is put a background to this transparent background just so that I can have something to put my text against and see what it looks like. Okay, so I'll go to the right bottom hand corner, scroll to the right, and click on From Gallery. And I will choose from my albums a background. That's the one I want right there. Okay, now I want to choose text. And before I started this uh, video recording, I downloaded a font from www.font.com. I'm sorry, www.dafont.com. D A D A F O N T dot com. Okay, and this font type is called Kinkle. Kinkles. So I'll edit and I'll write my name Jeff Brown and I'll put eight the letter the number eight at the very end and there's a reason behind that and I'll show you. Okay. So now I'll go to letter. See the A in the bottom left hand corner and I will go to font and my fonts. Kinkles, there you go. That's the font type. Okay. Click OK. As you can see, that's what it looks like with that font type. Okay, I want to duplicate that. And I want this one to be a black color. Let's so go to color. And we'll change it to black. Okay, and this one, we want to give it a stroke, and we're going to change the stroke to white. This so will be putting the black one inside it. Okay. Okay, so now I want those two to be merged together, those two text pieces. So I'll click on those two folders that overlap each other in the right hand corner. I click on lock. And then down toward the bottom left hand side, click on that thing and check those boxes and then click those two folders in the middle left hand side and, and it will ask you are you sure you want to merge the selected objects you will say yes okay now click on the folders overlapping each other right hand corner these two now have been merged together All right, the next thing I want to do is I want to erase the color from the black turn on enable the color put set the tolerance to 2 and click on the injector piece so now the color the black color has been erased so it's transparent as you can see the next thing I will do is is click on the plus button and we're going to add a shape here and this shape is going to be the circular shape and we're going to add a stroke color of black for now and the stroke width at 25 and the opacity for the circle itself take it to zero so it disappears 
we're going to move a circle, decrease it in size. And we're going to edit stroke uh, color to white now. Okay, so that's where the keychain ring will be. Now we want to merge that together. Check the boxes, click on those folders in the middle. Okay. So now these are all merged together in one piece. The next thing that I want to do is change the texture. We're going to change it to a, a gold color. Okay. Now, what we will do is add another keychain piece. Crop the excessive areas around the keychain key piece. All right. There we go. We're going to have to decrease it in size. and merge it. Now we can add a shadow. Take the blur to 15 radius. And now we have keychain piece. Okay, so now that I've created that keychain piece, I'm going to go into PixArt and finish this project. So I'll click on the plus button at the bottom. Okay, and now I'm going to go into my albums and pick that background that I showed you I was going to use when I was creating the keychain in Pixel App, okay? Going to all my wood album, textures, background, there we go. So this is the one I want, but I need to fit it to the right aspect, the right aspect ratio. And the aspect ratio I'm choosing is the YouTube one. Okay, there we go. Save it by clicking on the check button in the right hand corner. And now what I'll do is I'll kind of tweak with the saturation a little bit to bring out some color. And then on the effects, I'll click on FX and give it a vignette border at around 14. Save it. And now we will add the keychain in. So it is, I'm going to increase the size, I want it to be prominent, okay, and we're going to tweak the color a little bit to make it stand out. and add just a bit of shadow even more than the shadow I had given it before 
It's all about making this look as real as can be. All right, we'll save that. Clicking on the check button in the right hand corner. Now I'm gonna add photo of my, an image of myself, and I've already removed the background on my image that I'm going to use. And I've cartoonized that image in Photolab. Add just a bit of shadow. So there we go. Now I'm going to add some text to this. And stroke to make it stand out. Keep about an 80 stroke and get it to fit. And again, shadow. And I tweak with the blur and the opacity. And the horizontal and vertical of the shadow. We will duplicate that by pressing those over overlapping folders so that I don't have to redo the shadow and the stroke and I will edit the text to link in bio. Now I'll put a lens flare. And ta-da! We have our cover photo. I usually like to put some hardware in the corner because this is a poster and we're going to pretend that that poster is being hung up somewhere. So you can use staples, uh, hardware, and for this purpose I'm going to use hardware sticker within uh, pick, uh, PixArt. I'll put a border around that hardware. I've got to erase that top piece there. We don't want that in the poster. Uh, decrease the size a little bit. And we're going to add shadow. I'll tweak with that color in the effects with a simple and to the right and saturate saturation or make it a little gold color. All right, oops, hard light. Duplicate that. So you can put it every corner. And add a border and we're basically done here.